Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. I'm um, actually doing a second video today because I was thinking about this and I, since it was fresh in my mind, I wanted to get it down on video for you guys. So it's still the 20th of May. Uh, I've been working on the dirt here a little bit and I'll show you what I did so far. And uh, I, uh, you can see the, the difference. I don't know if you can see that or not, but here's a, uh, couple more inches of dirt on top of the dirt that's already down and I filled in all back here as well I'm gonna add a few more in the back there where it's packed down more but uh, so I've been just working on getting this all squared away so the video that I want to talk about um, how important is it to have a garden in place before SHTF happens okay so I want to talk about that a little bit because it's like now now I know I want to do an aquaponics garden, and uh, I do plan on still doing that. And uh, but uh, having a traditional garden, uh, let's say if you have an aquaponic garden and uh, the grid goes down, now you don't have electricity to run your aquaponics system, so that's an issue. Okay, but uh, having an, a, a normal, regular, old-fashioned garden established before SHTF happens. I think it's really important, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, like I said before, I, dirt is key. you got to have good soil. And uh, so, okay, you say to me, well, Ed, you know, I compost. And that's awesome. I compost as well. I have my composting bin over here, okay? So composting is great, but that takes time. Uh, it doesn't happen within a month or two months. It takes time for that to all break down and turn into good soil. Now, composting is great, and I highly recommend that you do do that. As well don't get me wrong I'm not saying don't compost definitely compost okay but along with that composting you need to have a good established garden in place before SHTF because again the same premise of anything else it's an important part of your preps I believe in um, like I say dirt is the key you get a good garden in get good dirt in there you're harvesting your garden and you know you can you can have fantastic soil and you work on it every year obviously it wouldn't just you know just do this a one-time thing and then just let it go you continue to work that soil through the years okay so last year in this area here as you guys remember i tried uh doing a bucket garden and we had like a brutally hot summer and it was a complete disaster and a failure but I would rather have learned that when it wasn't necessary to learn that than afterwards, okay? Uh, obviously, I will not go with a bucket method again uh, unless I was just getting seeds started and getting to a certain point and then transplanting them. That's the only way I would do that, okay? But anyway, with having your garden in place, now you're going to say to me, some of you, well, Ed, SHTF is never going to happen. And that is also a possibility. Now, I honestly believe that it will, but that's okay. Um, but let's say it never does. So why do this? Well, here's the reason why you would want to do this. You want to establish your garden, get a good garden in, because then you can grow your own product that you know how it's raised. There's no chemical sprayed on it. You grow it yourself. It's delicious. Nothing beats homegrown, guys. I mean, if you guys have never gardened, anybody that's never gardened, nothing beats the taste of homegrown, okay? And yes, it's a lot of work like anything in life that's worthwhile is work but you know you would have your own stuff and then of course the prices of things are never ever going to go down now you're going to say to me ed this is not a big enough garden for when shtf happens again you are correct okay <laughs> and i'm not being condescending guys please don't take that as condescending i'm just th thinking of thoughts that people are going to say i'm just getting this established now okay uh, and getting it going and I'm going to put in a small garden this year. I would like to expand this and make it a bigger garden, okay? But for right now, this is what it's going to be. And uh, like I said, this is, uh, you know, it's not easy. It's, it's uh, you know, I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting this dirt all in here with a wheelbarrow, as you can see. And uh, just slowly working at it, you know. But uh, I enjoy it. I don't mind the work. And, uh, you know, I just pace myself. I mean, uh, th here's the thing is, too, getting going once you're over a certain age, you don't go like you did when you were 25 years old, okay? So uh, I'll be 52 next month, so I have to pace myself. And, and that's okay. I don't mind doing it. Like I said, I'll, I do some, I take a little break, and that's what I'm doing right now. I did some, 
And uh, so now I'm taking a little break because I was getting winded and drink plenty of water and that's kind of key too. So I've been freaking pounding water down and uh, you know, and so some of you will say, well, how come you don't have the kids out here doing it with you? You know, and this is just real tedious stuff. So I don't mind doing this. And for me, it's just easier just to do this part myself. I don't mind doing that. I mean, if it's stacking wood and, and stuff like that, they're going to help me with that. There's no doubt. But uh, this here, it, this is no big deal. I, I like, like I said, I enjoy doing this. I've always liked having a garden. And, uh, you know, so this is going to be a decent sized garden. If you guys remember my videos when we used to live in Greece, I had a small garden, way smaller than this. And, uh, you know, we just grew a couple tomato plants and some, uh, I think we had like four tomato plants and maybe two two peppers something like that it wasn't a whole lot i mean but uh we got a pretty good amount of, of product off of those and again it was because of the soil so anyway having things established ahead of time before shtf happens again anything that you do guys and i've said this over and over and over again anything that you do in preparation ahead of time gives you an advantage and that's realistically what we're all looking for is that edge, that advantage, you know. And uh, so having a garden established and, and like I said, the, the cost of, uh, you know, plants and stuff like, well, not the plants, but the, uh, the cost of, uh, well, plants too, but the cost of the vegetables and the fruits that you're going to grow are never going to go down. They're only going to go up. So you have to look at that as an investment. And I do plan on collecting the seeds this year from this you know from my cucumbers from my uh i think i got cucumbers i think i do get cucumbers um from the cucumbers from the cantaloupes from the tomatoes uh the peppers all that i plan on getting this in onions obviously we're going to work on you know with that too but you know getting everything established and then you know harvesting the seeds harvesting the produce doing canning you know and then and like i said and then when we have you know when it's in season eating out of our own garden you know so if a shtf never happens you got an awesome way to have your own produce and it's fantastic so that's that's a big part of it okay so i just wanted to like i said i wanted to share this with you my thoughts on how important it is to continue to prep and it's not just stuff okay um it's getting your garden established, getting fruit trees planted, getting uh, blueberry bushes, raspberries, uh, all those type of things, all whatever kind of berries that you like to have, you know, tomatoes, or not tomatoes, uh, strawberries, all, all those things, real important stuff to have, you know. So if you get those things established where you live, and if, like, you know, even if you live in the city, it's kind of hard in the city, obviously, unless you did a little balcony garden, but anybody that's you know making that move and getting out into the country and getting away from uh, the insanity and even people in suburbia you don't have to have a yard you can turn that yard into a garden and uh, that that is definitely something that you can do and there's nothing they can do about that there's no code that says you can't you you have to have grass okay at least not yet as far as I know so having a garden in place having the good soil working on things always moving forward always making progress and that's realistically what it's about guys it's making that progress i mean moving all this other dirt and i finished moving the rest of that dirt yesterday so you know and then working on getting this dirt in here and then as soon as i get this all filled in the way i want it then we're going to plant now i'm thinking about they have these tarps that you can put down these black tarps so the weeds don't grow through so i'm going to run i'm thinking about running them first and then you cut a slit in it and you plant your plant in there like that. And I think I might do that just because I freaking hate weeding. I'll be honest with you. That is not one of my favorite things to do. So I'm probably going to do that. So, like, and again, like I said, every everything that you do, um, you know, everything takes time. Everything is an investment. But this is an investment in your future. Regardless if SHTF happens or if it doesn't happen, having your own produce, growing your own garden is so important and soil is the key and like I said aquaponics absolutely I think it's a fantastic thing and like I said I want to do that myself but if you have a power outage and you are not independently hooked up on your own off-grid you know with solar or wind turbine or whatever that system is not gonna run okay and it's only gonna run as long as you have parts and everything else as well so you know the clock will be ticking no matter what so that's that's important to think about too okay so 
a garden is great. Having the great soil is key. Very important prep, in my opinion, in an SHTF situation and before a SHTF happens. Having things established in place beforehand is key, guys. And a garden is a big part of that, a really, really big part about that because you don't want to all of a sudden SHTF happens. Now there's no more going to the grocery store or getting anything and, oh, hey, I think I'll try my hand at gardening now. And you have nothing in preparation ahead of time. It's going to be a hard learning curve. And you're trying to, if you're trying to, you know, grow in uh, in tough soil, it's not going to work, you know. So you got to have good soil, guys. So that's I, I wanted to get this video out while my, you know, the thought about it was in my head, and I was thinking about it. And so I'm doing this, you know, and I'm going, you know what? I think that'll make a good video. So I think it's important. Uh, please let me know what you think, and uh, you know, please share your comments, thoughts on this. I appreciate it. Like, comment, share if you like the video. You like what we're doing up here. Please hit the subscribe button on the video. You'll see the little icon of me and the kids. And, uh, you know, please hit that and join us and uh, watch our journey and watch what we're doing up here. I mean, uh, we're working at it. It takes time, but I'm, I, I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. I really, truly do. So remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. It's very important that you do that. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. And I didn't say this in the last video because the thing got all wacky at the end of it. But, uh, you know, and remember, guys, it's STD. It's one step at a time, it's one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you will get there. I mean, I am a perfect example of that, you know. I mean, I'm no expert on a lot of things. I know some stuff like gardening. I definitely know some things on gardening. But, uh, you know, I came out here with my kids. And that's another thing. A lot of people are afraid to do it with kids, you know. Um, I've had CPS called on me twice. And uh, both times unfounded, okay? As long as you have your stuff squared away, kids got a place to sleep. Places, you know, reasonably clean. There's food. They can take a shower. They can uh, go to the toilet. Man, CPS can't touch you guys. They really can't. So, um, you know, and like I said, it's like, why would they want to hurt you that way? You know, and, and the thing is, the people that called tried to hurt me, and that's fine. But it didn't work, okay? Uh, my kids are my world. Everything I do is for my kids. So anyway... Rambling, stop rambling, get off video. Listen, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, hang in there. You can do it. You really can. Prepper nurse went out for now.